Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid in our Hardcore Survival Adventure. We are picking up here a little while after our last episode, out on our newly constructed deck, which was going to be for our farm. But apparently, I did not bring a spade with us. We found all so, oh so many spades shovels but uh i neglected to bring one with us apparently so that sucks i guess i could always just dig plots down in the garden areas down there hmm probably should have gone through all that before i actually uh made the deck here oh well it did get our carpentry skill up to almost level four once we get to level four we can make ring collector barrels of course and let's see here, what else did I do in between episodes? I've made some more containers uh, over there. Can't really see them all, but there's three in the corner. And I think we are going to head back into town today, tonight. I've got two radios and a walkie-talkie in our secondary bag. I believe I also have a radio in my backpack here. So we should be good for distractions. It is raining outside. So actually it would have been a good time to have a farm up so it could be watered, but whatever. Let's head on down. We do need to find food since we're not going to be uh, doing an above ground farm right now. Uh, we, we do need food because we're running a bit low. So car is ready to go. We got about 50 units we can toss in there if we so desire. Let's fire this up. Turn our heater on, turn our lights on. I put the gas that we picked up in the last episode, put that into the car, so we're now up to a half a tank of gas. That's more gas than we've ever had. More gas than we'll probably ever need. So let's head back into town. We checked out the warehouse uh, just southwest of the farm last episode. Did find quite a few heavy duty cars out there that we could potentially um, salvage parts from. I'm just thinking about what part of town I want to go into. Let me check the map quickly. Well, we could go east and kind of head to the center of town. There's a little bit of a, um, a roundabout way of going there. But uh, there is a gas station up here. I don't think we got to in the previous episodes. So I think we're going to check that out today. It's over in the same area that we were uh, two episodes ago. Our return episode after that long break. So let's head back up here. I think it's just north of the area we had previously checking out. Lots of zombies over here. Okay, so this is the turn off that we used before. Let's go down here. Alright, so that's the area we were checking last time. Now if I follow this up, there should be a ton of zombies. And apparently, a tree. Let's try and get back to the road here. This is probably a big mistake. <laughs> there goes our uh, one of our headlights. All right, hold on. I want to see if I can get to the gas station. If I might have to go on foot. All right, this does. Go back to the road here, so let's go here. I've got an extra light bulb in the car here, so we can always replace that. Actually, I don't know. Maybe the gas station isn't up here. Uh, actually, let's turn that off. Let's pull out a radio. 
or two. And we'll just put one down here. Oh god. Or maybe right here. Keep them away from the car. Wow, I put it really close to the car. <laughs> oh well. We'll get the, them going down there. Um, I misjudged where the gas station was. We do have a ton of cars up here. Jesus. A couple of heavy duty cars up here. Might as well check those, I guess. Pull out our gas can. Check for gas. Let's see. Siphon gas, okay. Pull some from there. Add gas, add gas. Okay, so none of these other cars have gas. Nope, that's fine. Let's uh, head over to these heavy duty cars. See what's going on here. Uh, a lot of these cars have good suspension, but not much else that we would want. These do have bigger trunks though than our car. So if we could find another car with another key, there we go, there's a key in this one. What's the uh, condition like on this car? Engine is in horrible condition. Nothing we can do about that, okay. Otherwise, though, it's got a good brake. It's got some uh, performance tires. We have performance tires, though, in our car. Let's pop the hood on this guy. Trunk's in pretty bad condition. Performance tires as well. Can't go through there. All right, we got the water here. Could do some fishing. We do have a fishing rod and some fishing line and lures. Yeah, they are right on the uh, <laughs> right on the butt of our car. Okay, so how are we gonna get this car out of here? Let's figure that out first. Can't. Oh, there is a road that goes this way. Let's see where this goes to. This is probably the exit we'll have to use. Did not think this through. Looks like we can take this, though. Not sure where it's going to go. Uh, I can check the map here. Okay, so following this, would uh, there would be a turnoff for the highway, so... That will be our exit strategy. And the gas station is actually just a little bit further down this way. So let's head down through this field, connect up with the road again. The gas station should be just down here. Yeah, right here, I think, is the gas station, so, yep. We'll uh, put down a radio in the parking lot. Yep, clear out these zombies. Uh, let's put it maybe a little bit further away from the road in case we do want to drive down that road. Uh, maybe right down here. Probably suffice. Turn that on. Good to go. Alright. Let's get these Zeds over here. Pull them all away from the gas station. There goes the cat eyes. Bring them all down. Got another Spiffos here too, so that's probably where we're going to find uh, some good food. Probably some more kitchen knives as well. 
Alright, there's the radio. Let's keep these people coming down. Just get their attention. Alright, come on guys. Come this way. I think there might be a radio on inside the gas station because they keep wandering up there. Something appears to be grabbing their attention. Unless there's a zombie knocking on a window up there. It could be too. I think that's a pretty good radio placement there. Got more cars here. I feel like there's way... The car spawn is way higher up in Riverside than it was in Muldra. So we're seeing a lot more groupings of cars. Not sure if that's just because we got to Riverside and a later uh, build of the vehicle test branch. Maybe they boosted the, uh, the spawn numbers. All right, 3 a.m. If we're gonna do looting, we gotta probably get to it here. Quickly check these garbage bins. Nothing. All right, let's get out of line of sight here from the big group. Let's circle around. And we'll see how many are left inside here. I think we could probably do without the uh, flashlight. All right, there's still some inside. No one behind us. Let's hop in. All right, they're going to climb out that window. Because that noise attracted them. Some more are going to climb in and just walk through uh, the counters as zombies tend to do. Empty gas can. Right, not much here. No parts yet. Oh, we got a uh, regular tire heavy duty. Uh, ooh, we got two gas cans there. Let's pick those up. And the chips. Ah, two gas cans. That might get us... Ooh, three gas cans. This might be enough to... Get us up to, uh... Three-quarter tank. Oh, there's some more chips in there. Kind of want those. Alright, give me those. Bathrooms there. Okay. Good enough. No ice cream. Nope. Okay, cool. We got lots of gas. Let's head back to the car. We'll put this gas in. Three full gas cans, is it? No. Two, two full ones. And one with a little bit plus the little bit that we got here. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this other empty one out. We'll just combine the two. Okay, let's pour into there. Save a little bit of weight. So now I don't know why this one is like 2.75. Uh, usually... It seems like as soon as we get a little bit of gas inside of a gas can, it goes straight up to five. Like the full weight of a full gas can. So I'm not sure what's going on there. It's nice. Shouldn't be complaining. Less weight is always better. Okay, so our car will be just up here. Yeah, there we go. 
Uh, lots of zombies around it, but uh, far enough away that we should be able to put all this gas in. Let's unpack these. And we'll want to go to this side, I guess. Alright, we're unpacked. Our other side, I guess. Okay, that works too. Fill that up. Gotta click on this side. And then add it on the other side, I don't know. Alright, cool. So let's hop in. Let's get out of here. Take this up. And follow this road out. Try not to crash again. Um, let's try on the heater as well if we can. Good. And yeah, we got a three quarter tank of gas right now. In the last couple episodes, we've gone from quarter tank to three quarter tank. This is a very narrow road. I feel like the chances of us hitting a tree are pretty high. Right, so there should be a turn off pretty soon up here. You could also drive through the field, but it's going to be a lot slower. There's a turn off. Oh. And yeah, we crashed again there. <laughs> I got my directions mixed up. Do we have any headlights left? We still have one. Our derpy one eyed delivery van. And there's some trees in the middle of the road. Nice. Got a construction site there. Okay. We're on the road. Let's pull over here. Turn that off. Put down another radio. Or a walkie-talkie. That works, too. Just get them away from our car again. We're actually going over that direction, which is fine. I'm going to just put down a radio here. Alright, turn that on. I'm not too worried if they decide to go past where my car is, but we might as well try and get inside the spiffos here. Get some food. So we've got a couple hours uh, to loot stuff before we gotta head out of here. And uh, I think we should probably leave maybe 7.30, because it might... There's a lot of zombies around this area, so it might take us a while to push through if we really need to. I'm going to come back and check these cars more thoroughly next time. Just want to get inside here. Right, so let's take that out. Do need some hinges and doorknobs. All right, here we go. Food. Good, good, good. Grab all this stuff. Kitchen? No, front desk. Could be some food here though. Cabbage seeds. I feel like we already have enough cabbage seeds. All right, that's the. Uh, are we? We are in the kitchen. Okay. More whiskey. A jar lid, okay. We could do some jarring, possibly. Coffee. This is just like a buffet table. So we got everything here though, right? Alright, some pop. Juice box. I huh, thought there would be more in here. 
Uh, mill rounds. One of these. Alright, not much in the spiffos actually. Alright, 6.30. Uh, we grabbed everything from the gas station. Could try checking out a couple houses if there's some houses up here. Uh, there could be some food in that building there. Might be like a little food mart. Car should be down here, right there. Okay, good. Make sure we know where that is. Just want to see if there's any houses over here. Doesn't look like it. Some sort of construction site here, though. But doesn't look like there's any crates. All right, is this another restaurant type deal? Yeah, it is. All right, seven o'clock. Got to think about heading back here. Welding mask. Clothing store, is it? Yeah. Okay. Um, seven ten. Ooh, this this is promising. Uh, battery. Just quickly go through here. Ooh, uh, ooh. Uh. Electricity for beginners. We've read that. It was a library. All right, uh, metal working for beginners. We've read that. Okay, if we have to leave at eight o'clock, that's fine. Uh, mechanics for intermediates. We need to read that. Cool, that'll help us out quite a bit. Clothing, clothing. Uh, mechanics for beginners. Master forging. We want forging for beginners. If we could find it. Cooking, advanced farming, let's grab that. Master foraging. Farming for beginners, we've read that. Let's take a book for boredom. All right, that might be it for this place. Expert carpentry, uh, we probably already have that, but let's grab it again. Radish seeds, not too worried about that. Okay. All right, we should probably, let's get out of here. We gotta head back. 7.50, almost eight o'clock. Well, the mechanics for intermediates, that's a good find. So we could read that and then uh, just start taking out a bunch of stuff from cars and that should, boost our mechanic skill quite a bit so it's been a struggle so far we've done quite a bit of work on cars but uh, haven't really got much out of it all right let's get out of here heater on so let's actually just go all the way down here and then we'll turn out the junkyard maybe Might be our best bet. Ooh, that was a splat. That's a big zombie horde there. <laughs> By that radio. All right, get through here. So next time we come to town, I think we'll focus on houses, so we can find more food. A little bit disappointed in that spiffos. It's expecting us to find more. We're hoping to find more, I guess. Oh god. Come on. Do we have a headlight still? We do. 
the most important part. Come on. Get through the groups. Get back home. 8.30. I think we have enough time. Dodge and weave. I hope you have enough time. There should be most of the zombies there. It should be open road now. I'd like to get this thing parked before 9 o'clock hits. Zero degrees outside. 8.50. And it's our turn. I'm very impressed with the radios we've put in these fields, though, either side of our driveway. It's really kept zombies away from our house rather nicely. Alright, 9 o'clock. This thing parked. Fantastic. And we're good to go. Oh, and we got uh, one zombie here. That's fine. If it's just one, it's a lot better than it could be. Okay, let's drop all this stuff off. Now we will read this mechanics for intermediates for sure. Let's drop everything else off first. So battery can go in here. Doorknob can go in there. Jar lid can go in there for now. Uh, we did get some food, I guess. Wasn't a complete bust. Just feel like we should have got more from the Spiffos. Alright, some more ammo. Let's drop all this food off. We're quite hungry as well, so we could uh, eat something. Uh, we got two things of whiskey. So, Molotovs if we need to. Actually, we got two more, so we got four total. Or if we ever need to disinfect something, we'll have that ability. There's our tiny library. Put our books there. Okay. And all these empty gas cans, I think we can just put these away. We'll just hang on to one for now. Good, okay. Let's uh, eat. Eat, eat something. What to eat though? I'll have some chips. I think our weight's doing pretty good. Oh, we're up to 83. Uh, we might want to start eating a bit more healthy now. Done pretty good with our weight overall. Uh, soup does not do anything though. Alright, well that's good enough for now. Let's read this mechanics book. Or start reading it at least. And yeah, so next episode we'll focus I think on houses. And then uh, though we'll have an episode where we'll, we'll just focus on dismantling cars and trying to level up our mechanic skill. Because so if we can get to uh, level 4 mechanics, which this book would help us boost to, then uh, uh, we would have a lot uh, more luck in uh, taking items off and installing them without uh, them breaking. So I think level 4 is kind of the minimum that we need. Maybe it was level 5, but uh, the higher we get, the the lower those chances become of, of breaking things, so. Uh, one o'clock here, let's read till two. Won't quite get us to uh, halfway. But uh, it should be a little bit of a boost. 125%. Yeah, it's a little bit. All right, let's get to sleep here.
I suppose we could just go back down to the warehouse for those cars, since we've already got radios set up there. Might be the best bet. Okay, well, let's end things for today. A little bit of a shorter episode. But that's fine. Uh, I need to get some food in our stomach here, because we are quite hungry. And we will pick up next episode. We'll be heading back into town, checking out some houses, get our food supplies stocked up again. Uh, let's eat some beans here. And we'll just continue on. We are at 2 months, 11 days, 12 hours survived, 836 zombie kills, at a weight of 83.5 kilograms. March 6th is the date in game. We made it through winter. And uh, yeah, we're going, going to make our way through spring as well, as long as we can stay alive. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.